Well, with just two weeks remaining for the Trump administration, a number of government leaders want the president impeached or for the cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment, which could remove him from office for being unfit. Meanwhile, several White House aides have resigned. The FBI and D.C. police are now trying to identify all the men and women behind the violence. Rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol building yesterday, breaching the Senate chamber. Congress was in the process of confirming President-elect Joe Biden's Electoral College win when the mob broke in, and lawmakers took cover wherever they could. Police shot a woman who tried to climb through a window. She later died. Speaker Nancy Pelosi says every person who desecrated the Capitol will be held accountable, along with the president, she says, for inciting it. While it's only 13 days left, every, any day can be a horror show for America. My members are very much in, interested, as are, my phone is exploding with impeach, impeach, impeach. But president must be held accountable again. Former Attorney General William Barr, an ally of President Trump, issued a stunning rebuke, saying orchestrating a mob to pressure Congress is inexcusable. The president's conduct yesterday was a betrayal of his office and supporters. In a statement, President Trump said there will be an orderly transition on January 20th. So far, 60 arrests have been made in connection to the riots.